Hey friends, my name is Mitch, and I've created the Google Board Game Voice Creator, the Google version of this, which means that with the same template file that you used to make yourself a Alexa bot, you can use the same file and make a Google bot. And if any other company comes along and they want to make a voice bot, I'll make a page for that. So one template file, you work once, and then you can convert it to as many applications as you want to. So if Apple comes along tomorrow and they want to make a Super Siri, then you can do that. Yeah, I'll make a page where you can make a Siri bot. If uh, IBM comes along, if, uh, I don't know, Oracle comes along, whoever comes along tomorrow and wants to make a new type of bot, I'll create a web page where you can make one out of your template file. So the same template file works on all platforms. So how do we do it on the Google side? Well, luckily Google allows you to upload a file, but it wants you to have a bunch of little files inside of a zip. So what I did was I created a script in Python and the Python script will create all of the files that you need, including your fallback and default intents, your welcome intents, and it'll read through your rules file and create everything you need and then it'll zip it up for you and it'll create an output path to where you can see all of your files. All of this is open source. Feel free to look any of this over that you want. So what does this mean you need to do? Well, unfortunately, I can't do it like the Alexa version on a nice simple web page. You're going to have to download Python. So the first thing you need is Python. So click Download Python Application. And Python works for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Any operating system you're on, Python, there's a version for it. So you want to go ahead and download Python and install it. Python's been around literally forever. Uh, 90s? Yeah, history, back in the 90s. This is a very, very old language. Rock solid, reliable, simple to read is why I went with it. And it works on every platform. So download and install it. So next you'll need my Python script. Now don't click download my Python script. You need to right click, save link as, and then you want to save it to a directory. Now this is gonna be the same directory that your rules.txt is in. So when you save it, your directory should look like this. So you can see I have convert rules to Python script, which is this thing over here. That's my script. And then I have rules.txt, which is your rules file. Again, this is the same rules file that you used for the Alexa bot, so you don't have to redo anything. So if they upgrade versions to Alexa version 8, Alexa version 20, you'll use the same rules file. You just let me know and I'll update my stuff. So that is all you need, just these two files. So you want to open a command window and the system should have added Python to your path. You want to do Python-V and that will ensure that Python is in your path. So let's do a directory of the files. So I see my Python scripts and now we need to want to do Python and then convert rules to google.py. So let's run this. Type a name for this project. So I'm going to need a name for your project. For this one, let's say, let's call it Great War Commander. That's going to be my project name. All right, now it says complete. You can find your zip file in this subdirectory. So it created a subdirectory for us and it put all of our files into it. So let's go take a look. So you'll notice we used to have just this file and this file but now we have upload to Google. So let's take a look at what that looks like. That has package agent, and it has all of our intents. Their intents are the things that were in the rule file right here. So all of these rules are all different little files that Google requires. So what I did was I made this directory for you. I put all the stuff in there and then I zipped it up. So you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is upload it. 
simple, it's quick, it's easy, super, super simple. Okay, so let's go to the Google site and let's upload this. On Google site, dialog flow, link in the description. This is Google site. Now you want to go here and you want to do create agent. If you don't see the button up top, you can drop this down and create a new agent. So let's click that. And now we need to give it a name. Let's call it Great War Commander. That's the name of our game that we're going to do. So hit Create. And this takes a while. So I will fast forward. Okay, so now you can see it started our new project. A project is called an agent. And now you'll see Great War Commander. That's the name of the game we're doing. And so I made it, and now it's all ready. You'll see under Intense, there's no Intense. There's a Fallback and a Welcome. You don't need to do anything. This will all get replaced by your upload. So we don't need to do anything at all. All you need to do is click this little wheel, cog, click it, and then go to Export and Import. Now you want to go Import from Zip. And obviously that Zip is going to be this one right here, Upload to Google. So let's put this over here and let's import from zip. Now it says we need to drop our file in, so let's grab this and drop it in. Now you need to type in all caps import right here. I don't know why, I guess it's just the way that works. You type in import all caps and import. And you'll see a little green okay thing that says it's done. Then you click done. Now it will refresh. Now over here, instead of just these two intents, now you see all of these new things that Google is listening for. So for example, negotiations, it's listening for how do I negotiate? What are negotiations? Who can I negotiate with? It's listening for all these things. And these correspond to my template file. How do I negotiate? What are negotiations? Who can I negotiate with? Now you'll see the answer that Google is going to give us is this long string. So if you want to find that, you just scroll down and you'll see that this is the string from your template file that it's going to respond when we ask that question. So we want to go through the intents that you need to worry about here. The default welcome intent, this is what's going to be said when they first start your application. So scroll down. Right now, it's a generic text that I made. It's called Welcome to Board Game Rules Helper. Ask about any rule, etc. So let's replace this with our game name. Welcome to Great War Commander. Okay, now click Save. Now it says it's saved. And now we customize that. What else do we need to customize? Default Fallback Intent. This gets triggered when the user doesn't say anything. Now, this is critical that you leave this here. This is called no input intent. And the reason being is, oh, this only happens on a speaker. So if you have a Google Home speaker, or you have a little Google Home Mini, when you don't say anything for eight seconds, it will repeat back what, you just, what it just told you, and it'll do it again after another eight seconds, and then it'll quit. I can't tell you how annoying that is. I can't possibly describe how annoying that is. It doesn't happen on a phone. It doesn't happen on a tablet. It just happens on those little speakers. And it's really annoying because we're returning almost a paragraph of text. Let me word wrap this. We're returning a lot of text. And when you read this three times to the user, that is just, that is just really bad. The other thing you want to make sure not to touch is this right here. You want to go in here and you want to set this intent as the end of the conversation. You want to click that on. For some reason, in my script, even though I say to put that setting in there, it doesn't do it. And I don't know why. If you know how to work this stuff, let me know. You have to, you have to click this. Again, this being checked and this being here will prevent the Google Home and the Google Home Mini little speakers from saying the same crap 
over and over and over. So again, make sure that's checked. Make sure that stays here. That should already be there. But this is not there. You have to go check it. Now click Save. Now you can change this. I say ask about any rule. Maybe you don't want to say that. Maybe you want to say ask about a rule or say cancel, right? So customize this. If the user doesn't say anything or the user says something like howdy howdy and howdy howdy is not in your rules file, then you're going to have to say something to the user. And right now I just say ask about any rule. Click save. All right, you're done. That is the end. Now we need to go to Google Assistant and test this out. Before we do this, we have to open this twice. And I don't know why. Again, I didn't program this. But you have to do this twice. The first time, you need to come into Invocation. This is what you want to say to activate your application. I'm going to say Great War Commander because that's the name of the game. You, If you're doing... Cataclysm from GMT, you could say GMT's Cataclysm. If you're doing Holland 44, you could type Holland 44. If you're doing Gloomhaven, put in Gloomhaven. I don't like male one, I like female one as my voice. Click Save. Pronunciation is already reserved by another assistant action. Oops, I already have a great war commander. Let me say my game is called Bottled Water. Save. Oh, I used bottled water already. Let me say my name game is called <laughs> Gloomhaven. <laughs> it's Gloomhaven today, guys. Gloomhaven. Because action names, okay, Gloomhaven. Are you going to take it? Okay, thank you. Gloomhaven. Has to be two words, apparently, or Google doesn't like it. All right. Now you need to close this window. Don't click Simulator. You're going to click Simulator in, an, in a minute, but for some reason, you have to close this window and reopen it for this to work. So close the window, and you want to wait about 10 seconds, and then click it again. Okay, now we're going to do two tests. We're going to do one inside of here, and then we're going to do one with an actual Google Home Mini. All right, so you'll see it says talk to Gloomhaven. So let's say that. Talk to Gloomhaven. It says sorry. Again, you got to get it like 10 seconds. I don't know why. Give it 30 seconds. Talk to Gloomhaven. Talk to Gloomhaven. All right. Getting the test version of Gloomhaven. Welcome to board Great War Commander. Ask about any rules. It's Gloomhaven, but it's Great War Commander. You get the idea. Okay, why do these errors occur? Because you have to wait like 30 seconds or two minutes or something for Google to catch up. Apparently there's something that needs to update on the servers, and it takes a while. So, okay, now, right now we're emulating a phone. You can emulate a phone, a tablet or a little Google Home speaker. Right now, let's do the phone. To cancel and get out of the app, you say cancel, but we're not gonna say cancel yet. How do I negotiate? Players may freely negotiate at the table at any time, so long as the hour of play is not unduly interfered with. However, any deals made are non-binding and cannot change the game state directly, i.e. no trading or lending of resources, units, control of areas, etc. Okay, so Gloomhaven is now a war game, by the way. Okay, so let's switch. Let's cancel. Cancel. And you can customize this to say goodbye or have a great day, or thank you for playing Gloomhaven, the new war game. Whatever you want to do, you can customize the end, the end text. So now let's switch over to speaker. Let's talk to Gloomhaven. Right. Getting the test version of Gloomhaven. Welcome to board Great War Commander. Ask about any rule or say cancel to exit. All right. How do I negotiate? 
players may freely negotiate at the Okay, so what happens if you don't say anything for eight seconds? You click this button to simulate it. Ask about any rule. Do you hear that doo doo? That means that it left the conversation and it abandoned. So it's really annoying if you don't do those two rules. What it's going to do is it's going to repeat this two times and it's going to get really annoying. Again, don't do that. Okay, so let's go fix some stuff and then let's try this on an actual physical speaker. First thing I want to fix is um, intents, the default welcome intent. Let's make it instead of Great War Commander, let's make it Gloomhaven because we're now Gloomhaven. Okay, and then click save, because that's going to bug me. Now, to upload it to all of your Google devices in your, on your account, you need to click Google Assistant. You have to wait until the agent is done training. It'll say agent training completed. Now click this, and it will upload to all of your Google, the same Google account, it'll upload to all of your devices at once. So if, any, if anything happens and it messes up, Please make sure that you're logged in to the same Google account in this window and this window. If you're logged into different accounts, which is quite possible if you have more than one account, it could log into different accounts, then this will never work. This will never work. Make, so if you, anything weird happens to where it just suddenly stops working, make sure you're logged into the same account. Okay, so let's go to the speaker, little Google speaker, and let's play with this. We are on the great tactical series book, the greatest game in the history of mankind, the greatest series at least. Hey Google, talk to Gloomhaven. All right, getting the test version of Gloomhaven. Welcome to Gloomhaven. Ask about any rule or say cancel to exit. How do I win the game? At the end of the game, total the victory points of all powers in each ideology, the ideology with the highest total wins. This can be tracked during the game with the ideology victory point markers. If one or more ideologies are tied for the highest total, the communists win if they are one of the tied ideologies, otherwise, the fascists win. How do I negotiate? Players may freely negotiate at the table at any time, so long as the hour of play is not unduly interfered with. However, any deals made are non-binding and cannot change the game state directly, i.e., no trading or lending of resources, units, control of areas, etc. When does the game end? The game ends immediately when one or more of the following conditions apply. All powers in one ideology have surrendered 5.5.4. One ideology has caused the surrender of two powers, i.e., has two surrender markers on the political display, or war status as global war and no powers are belligerent, 5.6.3. Howdy, howdy. Ask about any rule. Okay, when I said howdy, howdy, it basically doesn't know what I'm asking, and so it bails out. Again, if you don't do that, this will repeat over and over and over, and you'll want to throw this little hockey puck out the window. So this is better design. Make sure that box is checked, or your user will be miserable. Anyway, um, hit a like, subscribe, if you'd like to see all this goofy stuff with all these voice bots. Hey, Google, what time is it? It's 1.05. Anyway, okay, 1.05. I need to eat some lunch. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, that is the same template for all platforms. Ta-da!